All right, it's time for another motorcycle review. Here we have Machine Decatur, the bike of Common Rider Decade. His head is cocked a little to the side. <clears throat> um, Machine Decatur is some kind of motorcycle. It's kind of cool. It comes with some accessories. The stand that I don't see sitting here, but should be right here somewhere. Here it is. Comes with a big stand. I much prefer the big stand to, say, the very small stand of uh, Machine Masigler because, not Masigler, let's say Machine Winger. That was one where I was noticing it. it the base isn't wide enough to give enough stability to the bike. It tended to want to fall over a lot. This one's nice and big. It falls over fine. Um, but also you notice the figure can hold the bike up. He's only holding on with one hand because Machine Decatur comes with a pair of holding thing has hands. However, um, I'm reasonably certain that one of these hands came with Decade, Violent Emotion. Oh, maybe that's why, because Violent Emotion. And one of them came with Machine Decatur. And I cannot tell the difference between them. Is it in focus? Anyway, he does, uh, at least Violent Emotion Decade comes with um, hands for holding the ride booker in gun form. And I, as far as I can tell, they're the same dang hands. Maybe the original release of Decade didn't have the right kind of grippy hands for the bike. And so that's why they were needed. I only just thought of that right now. Um, the only other thing that Machine Decatur came with is softer handlebars, and I don't even know which I have on here because I don't even care. Uh, the pink looks just ever so slightly a different shade, but otherwise it's cool. I just noticed that it has the same yellow bit there that Decade does right there. Uh, it's got the same head panels or fins that match the ones on his head which are weird and silly looking and yet at the same time they really look kinda cool and tie the bike to the rider a lot. The bike also has a nice paint application of some kind of the Decade logo there and also on that side, right there. I don't know if focus is going to snap back into place. Come on. And also on the license plate. It would probably help if I would stop bumping the dang tripod, but it's in my way. Um, it's got lots of cool yellow clear plastic for headlights and turning signals. And Decade is nowhere near my favorite rider. I haven't even finished the show yet. But I've more or less enjoyed what I've been watching. He's kind of a douche sometimes. And sometimes I think that's funny and sometimes it's irritating. But uh, anyway, I don't hate him. But I find myself strangely attracted to the bike. I swear that when I first got this I was able to sit him on it in a way that looked very natural and accurate. And I cannot do it now. I don't know if I had his feet just way up off of the, maybe like that, off of the foot pegs. But for some reason tonight, I'm not being able to sit him on there right. But yeah, he looks good. Sitting on his bike. It's nice and detailed, good paint apps. Um, these, the Decade logos, are really, really clean. I'm assuming they're some sort of tampo or stencil or, I don't know. I don't know anything about paint applications. It's got a springy rear shock. It's got turning turning on the front. And this one is one that tends to go for around $50 to $60 on Mandarake. And if you like Decade, or if you like, want to have all of the bikes like I do, it's a good buy. It's a decent, it's a good bike. And if you have the older figure art, I guess it comes with the right hands to hold on to the thing. I forgot to put his ride booker back on. Uh, 
Um, that goes on there somehow. I don't know. Maybe it goes this way. Should not be this hard. You plug a peg into a hole. There we go. So, machine decatur. It's cool. Oh.